If you need coins for Madden 21, go to my sponsor, x5p.com. They have the cheapest and most reliable coins online, and use my code WIN, W-I-N, at checkout to save 5% off your order. Link in the description. Today, we have the brand new Randall Cunningham card that just dropped with the new Ultimate Legends. And yes, I went in and I spent a million coins to get him. That just makes no sense. I mean, it's just Is he worth it? We'll see in the video, but he's got a lot of really unique abilities that only he and Deshaun Watson in the game right now currently have, but Randall Cunningham is significantly faster. So he is gonna get Hot Route Master. I think that's the big question that everybody always asks about these cards, but he gets Hot Route Master, he gets Gunslinger, he gets Escape Artist, he gets QB Playmaker, he gets everything that anybody wants in the game right now, but with that, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos, but like always, let's jump into it. All right, so we're of course gonna start off with the team here and I wanna showcase our new addition, Randall Cunningham. So again, he gets Vikings, Kim, so it fits really well on our team. I've got 25 out of 50 Vikings, but really just wanna kinda walk through his stats for you guys. First of all, I'm rocking Omaha on him. Uh, I think it's the best X Factor in the game. Then I've got Play Fake and Sprinter. I just want to show you the ability slots here. There's nothing really special on the first one. Uh, again, don't get Dashing Dead Eye. Get Roaming if you're going to do uh, one of the Dead Eyes. Uh, I've got a whole video on that, but it's cheaper and better. Uh, but additionally, here's ability slot two. Uh, it's, it's kind of the same thing, but now you can get Escape Artist. So uh, that that's where it becomes. You know, really powerful because you can either get QB Playmaker. I mean, you could literally load this card up with like tons of abilities. You can have Escape Artist, Hot Route Master, and Gunslinger. Um, and you could also put QB Playmaker on them if that's more your thing. Uh, but uh, again, me personally, I'm rocking Hot Route Master and Gunslinger. I think it's the two most obvious ones. And uh, it fits my scheme personally the best. So that's what I'm using on them. Uh, again, you could do Threat Detector or something like that too, but that's what I like them for. All right, so Randall Cunningham's stats, 97 speed on my squad. Again, this is fully um, maxed out sprinter, and it's also a 25 out of 50 Vikings chem. And uh, the stats are great. I mean, it's kind of, it's almost an end game card. This is almost a golden ticket. Um, but every single stat for this card, phenomenal. Love the speed, love the acceleration. The throw accuracy is good. He also has 87 kick power. I don't think I can actually sub him into kicker, but if I could, He'd be great. But again, accuracy stats are good. Uh, throw on the run, play action, phenomenal for whatever those matter. Uh, but agility, great. Acceleration, great. Awareness, great. Everything is just great. This is a really, really good card. I'm excited to use them. Um, and then again, on offense, just the abilities that I'm using. I've got uh, deep in and deep out elite on Tyreek. I've got obviously hot route master and gunslinger on Randall. Uh, deep out on my tight end. And deep in, deep out on Randy. And I am. Um, uh, also rocking one edge protector as well. On defense, not much has changed here. Um, this is, again, uh, <laughs> better load this up here real quickly. So I did get rid of my expensive Sneed card, and then I powered him down, and I realized he's still 98 speed. So I was like, oh, great. All right, so I need to make sure that I do put uh, the extra um, uh, ability on him, though. So again, Minnesota Vikings offense, New York Giants defense. Go to winmadden.com and get access to either of those, or both of them, for $2.99 a month. Cancel anytime. Wow! That's a low price! I'm sorry, did you say something about a low price? Wow! That's a low price! I know! But with that, let's jump into the video. All right, here we are. So there he is, Randall Cunningham. Again, Hot Route Master Gunslinger. Uh, really excited to use him. First gameplay with him in general. And then looks like we're going up against the Dolphins theme team. So uh, the Dolphins theme team actually got really good. Uh, they just got a Byron Jones and they got uh, the other cornerback that was part I can't remember his name for the life of me. Uh, but the other cornerback that was part of the Team of the Year promo. So those cornerbacks are really good with the new meta as well. Uh, the cover three defense is the new meta, and both of them get um, mid, uh, whatever it is, mid zone knockout or whatever for one AP. Sometimes I'll start a sentence 
and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. So it's really powerful. So, hey, we're finally not getting the ball first, so we're going to start on defense here. Um, even though this is final. <laughs> Defensive videos, I get the ball first. Offense videos, I got to play defense first. So I guess it is what it is. All right, so anytime I see somebody come out in a slot gun, uh, I am thinking heavy runner, but uh, we'll just see here. I'm going to go nickel 335 wide. Uh, that was a good pass. Uh, a little bit slow in the lurk for me there, but probably should have had him. All right, so same formation. I'm going to come out and kind of the same thing here. I'm going to double Mabel both sides. So hopefully we're getting him into a position where uh, now he runs. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to be thinking, right? Uh, typically, anybody who comes out in these ace heavy formations, uh, they're, they're typically more of a runner. Uh, but uh, I could be surprised. Let's see what happens here. He's got Dante Culpepper at quarterback. So we really just want to shut down the run early. If we're able to shut down the run early on somebody like this, hopefully they go away from it. Uh, but we've got him into a third and seven. So third and seven is really good for us on defense. I am going to mix it up. I'm going to go into man here. I'm going to put two curl flaps on the field as well to kind of guard the flats. Uh, we really had him box there, but he... Uh, he does complete a nice ball. All right, so good job to my opponent on the last play. He is switching formations here. He's out of ace uh, slot. He's into gun. I think this is gun doubles. I don't know if this is gun doubles offset or not, but we've got this absolutely bagged too, and we don't have a QB spy out. Fumble, fumble, come on. Uh, all right, so he's back out in gun doubles here. And again, I'm just gonna keep mixing up the defenses. I'm gonna go between man. I'm gonna go between cover three, and maybe he's mixing some cover two. Here he hits us with a nice little inside zone, draw play, something there. All right, so still in gun doubles. Uh, he seems to be pretty comfortable in this, but I think if we just keep mixing up our defenses here again, we're going to man. I think he probably had his tight end on the streak if he would have thrown it right away, but we're able to get him into another third, or actually this is second and 10, but second and long. And uh, what we really want here is him to commit to the pass. So as long as we can just stop him from running the ball, I'm gonna be pretty happy. Uh, especially early in the game, I want to take away the run and good. Ooh, we get lucky. We get really lucky there. All right, so we've got him in a third and long here. Uh, we're switching to man again. I'm going to keep switching it up and we go for the user rush. Uh, we aren't able to quite get home on the user rush, but Dion saves us. He gets a nice knockdown. We've got him into fourth and long. And it looks like he's going to take his three. So we're going to start with the ball down three points, but that's great. Uh, I think that's kind of a half a stop. Uh, I, oh, he's going to go for it. All right. Uh, I always come out and fake field goal defense, so uh, we get a little bit lucky there that uh, it does work, but whatever. So we get the ball, and we're actually tied now starting the game. All right, so again, first thing I see on offense here is single high safety. I'm thinking either man or zone right away here, or either man or cover three, and nobody followed him over, so I'm thinking cover three immediately. I'm going to look at the hitch route on the right side of the field. If I have it, great. If not, I... <laughs> I probably had the hitch. I panicked. I thought I could scramble with Randall Cunningham, so I immediately take an 11-yard sack. Uh, first play with Randall Cunningham, not the greatest. So I'm going to go for a cover three beater here. If he's going to sit in cover three, uh, we're going to try to beat him on it. And I really like this because if they're going to come out and nickel three through five wide, it's a play action. And we got him. There we go, Tyreek. Get it. All right. So, all right. First play, 11-yard sack for Randall Cunningham. Second play, 90-yard touchdown. So that's great. Okay. So we get an immediate response, and that might be it for our opponent. And it is. Let's move on to game number two. All right, game number two. There again is our squad. Really hoping we get a little bit of a longer game than last time. Uh, literally, we got halfway through the first quarter, and we are going up against somebody who's running acrobat and one step ahead on his defender. So I'm expecting a lot of man defense out of this game. Um, and it looks like we are going to get the ball first. So, again, typically I'd be complaining about that, but because we're doing a Randall Cunningham gameplay here, great. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get some more Randall Cunningham just in this video. So, it uh, makes a little bit more sense for what I'm recording. All right, first and 10 on our own 18. And interesting, he comes out and he baselines right away, and he's coming out in, uh, looks like just 3-3-5, just base defense here. So let's let's see what this means. I'm going to run the ball in the first play here. We get a really nice break tackle and gain there from Delvin Cook, so I'll take that. I've got a second and two, and that's a cover three cloud. So cover three clouds are kind of my least favorite to go against because it, it disguises well, but also they've got a rolling coverage behind it. So you have to know which side the safety is actually going to play the deep middle third on. Um, and typically when you've got a strong formation like this, the deep middle third is going to be on the right side of the field here. So let's see if that happens. 
And that is true. Uh, we actually had, actually no it wasn't. Uh, the deep middle third is actually on the left side of the field there, so our deep third on the right actually just stayed on the right. All right, so that was interesting, but I had to throw that ball away, and I've got third and two here. Um, if he gives me this run, I might take it, but let's just let's just try it, see if we can get it here. And again, I'm looking for a B if uh, the defender falls off of him. He follows him, so we're just going to hand this ball off, get the easy first down with Delvin Cook here. So he's not really providing a lot of resistance to our run game. Uh, so that's going to really help take the pressure off just initially. Um, but again, if he's going to sit in this cover three cloud, I do want to do a couple different things with it. I want to work underneath. Um, there's a lot of holes in this particular zone, especially if he's double mabling, which is in all likelihood how he's running it. He's only rushing two. He's got a QB spy out there. And we're able to hit the underneath just right before he gets to the sideline where the double mabel is. So... Um, that's good. Uh, I think that's a pretty good start. Uh, essentially, you know, this is supposed to be run with a spy on the field naturally, but he is taking that spy position with his user. Um, I'm going to go for a different cover three beater here. I don't know if it's going to work or not against this particular setup in this formation, but we're going to give it a shot. And if it works, great. If not, now he's only rushing one. So we've got just nobody open here. So, all right, so if they're going to start rushing one, we need to work the run game and we need to uh, essentially work like little hitches underneath, drag routes, stuff like that. Um, mainly because those are really, really difficult to guard if you're going to drop so many people in coverage. Now, we don't want to attack down the field if they're going to rush one because he's putting literally everybody behind him. And I, I need to make sure that whatever we do, we just keep him off guard by, you know, kind of like I've said it here, I've got a hitch on the left, I've got a curl route on the right. And here's the hitch, perfect little gain here, so nine yards on second down. We've got to do a third and very manageable, third and one. Um, but that's what we're going to keep doing if he's going to essentially drop, you know, nine, ten people into coverage every time. We have to make him pay for it. We can't let him sit in that zone and, you know, kind of annoy us. So I am really surprised, though, that we haven't seen any man defense, um, mainly because he's running with one step ahead. So if you're going to spend nine ability points on three one step aheads, which appears to be what we have here, you should be running man, um, but if you're not, I guess that just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So Dalvin Cook gashes him here right up the middle again, and uh, again, he's going to keep dropping that many people into coverage. We're going to be able to use the run game, we're going to be able to use the underneath passing game quite easily, and I want to make him pay for dropping that many people back. So again, I'm motioning Tyreek Hill, nobody follows him, it's pretty easy to tell that we're in some type of zone here. and. Again, that little hitch route does so many things. I could have thrown the hitch route, but it also brings down the other zones, so I can throw that tight end uh, post route behind it. So uh, if he's going to sit in this zone, good for him, but probably not going to work out in the long run for him. Uh, so we're going to make him defend the run again. I've got nobody guarding X over here. Okay, he's manually moving somebody over to X. I still want to watch that, see if he follows him. He does, uh, but we're going to take the nice little run, probably three, four yards to the left side there, and I'm really stressing his defense here. Um, so uh, the reason I really like that stretch alert bubble is a I can definitely run it to the wide side I can throw the bubble and then I've also got an audible that I can run the dive in so they've got to guard all three parts of the field with the run game there um, here I'm gonna work that hitch again and this time I do have somebody following me that says man defense to me so he is gonna finally utilize the one step aheads I've got nobody open uh, good defense by him uh, my my motion over slant route, I actually got bumped there, so I would have had him open, but he got bumped on his route, so. All right, is what it is. So we're going to third and six. We're still in the first quarter. I've essentially used the entire first quarter on this drive, uh, but that's gonna happen when somebody's dropping, you know, nine, 10 people into coverage every time. You're not gonna be able to work the, work the ball down the field as much as you'd like. So third and six here, I'm putting a couple different route combinations on the field, uh, and this is man again, so we should be able to hit one of our all right rushing one so i'm going to stay in the pocket i'm going to try to gather anybody and we've got randy on the back side here so we've got a route bounce from randy moss here that was just really good pocket staying patient in the pocket he had a spy he sent the spy i just kind of rolled back into the pocket a little bit and we were able to pick that spy up with our offensive line so all right great first drive by randall here so randall has had two drives and we've got touchdowns on both of them and not the most exciting drive here because he dropped so many people into coverage. It was really hard to like work the ball downfield with Randall, but the extra mobility has been really nice. Uh, just to be able to have a threat to run where they have to put a spy on the field essentially, that 
that is very, very useful. It takes one of the deeper defenders out of the play, and we always have a threat to scramble with Cunningham. Even though I don't have Escape Artist on him, it's still a good enough threat that we don't have to worry about it too much. So, all right, we're going on D here. I'm setting my zone drops. He's coming out in gun doubles. So I've got a couple different options here. I can go to 3-3-5 odd, and I can try to send that blitz. Uh, I could go to 3-3-5 wide, which I'm going to do. And the reason I'm going to do that instead is I want to stop the run. So early in the game, I want my opponent to think they can't run the ball, no matter what. And he does go to a, <laughs> a little handoff there, and we're able to stop that immediately. That looked like some type of um, counter or something like that, maybe a power to the weak side. Uh, but yeah, we, we love to start the game like that because that's going to make our opponent think that we are ready for the run every time. We're going to stop it, and you're not going to be able to do it. And it has the added benefit of putting them into a second and long. So, all right, we've got him into a second and long here. I'm going to double Mabel again. And, you know, <laughs> I just uh, gave my opponent a little bit of crap for running a lot of zone defense with one step ahead. And here I am running a lot, a lot of zone defense with one step ahead myself. But uh, I will mix in the man quite frequently here. Um, and I was ready for the delay fade. I was just too slow with my user there. I got distracted at the last second by that uh, drag route. Uh, he released him at a really good time there, so good play by my opponent. Uh, so we're going to have to worry about that constantly. So whenever uh, we see somebody starting to run delay fades, that is going to be something that we're going to have to keep in mind with our user, uh, mainly because it, it's just too hard to always have a mid-read on the field to be able to defend that thing. And sometimes the mid-reads play the right depth, sometimes they don't, and then I'm going to have to go in and adjust my zone drops. Uh, it's, it's just a pain. So I really like usering that. And especially because I can kind of bait them, I can make them think that it's open, and I can swing back and try to pick it off. So, all right, so split close. This is a Patriots fan running the Patriot offense, uh, almost certainly here. And again, going to the double Mabel. And, okay, a little bit of motion here. Let's see what he actually... All right, so that's a nice little hitch route. So good play by my opponent. I'm probably going to have to switch up and put some man on the field here a little bit. Uh, he is dissecting his own. And whenever you run against people running a lot of zone defense hitches are very good they just sit in the soft spots of a lot of the zones and you know because they don't continue moving across the field they're, they're oftentimes just going to be open so weak close here all right so look this definitely is a formation that i'm thinking run out of so i'm going to be ready to shoot the gap here and hopefully we can blow them up for little or no gain and it is a fullback dive i wasn't expecting that but we were able to pick that up and stop him for looks like three yards that looks like a very generous three yards given by the computer there but uh, to me that looked like maybe a gain of one or two but all right so we've got him into second and seven uh, the clock is starting to click down on this game pretty quickly here again I took the entire first quarter with my drive and he is taking the entire second quarter with his so he's coming out in strong close you don't run strong close against me uh, you don't do it uh, this is this is a no-no uh, I am definitely gonna be able to stop this so he's got absolutely nothing here we box him and he throws a pick so here's the beauty of it right we've been running zone defense zone defense zone defense I, this first time I came out in man right there absolutely nothing open I was ready to stop the run there and he had nothing so we are back on offense here we've got a seven nothing lead it is uh, two minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first half so if we get a touchdown here we're in really good shape on this and again I'm putting hitches on the field purpose of the hitches, again, like I just talked about with those zones, is we want to spread out and make sure that <laughs> they have to guard underneath. And it's really hard to guard those underneath routes in zone coverage. So let's see if he continues to come out in zone here. Um, but again, I, I can't stress it enough, guys. Those little hitches and the little curl routes, they're so deadly and they're really hard to guard in zone. Um, they have to be shaded properly and they have to have the proper zone on the field. And we can really make sure that our opponents are just being driven nuts by putting those on the field. All right, so got a first and 10, two minutes left. Again, I wanna be careful with the ball. No matter what, we wanna get points here. Uh, we did get the ball first, so we wanna go into halftime with the lead, preferably a two possession lead. I'm gonna again stress the run game here, and we we almost got out with Delvin there. So really good halfback dive, and th that is being made possible by him dropping so many people on the coverage. He, he came out in Mike Blitz there, but uh, whenever we see that type of a hole open up, that just means to me that he's probably dropping tons of people. So I'm going to go for a cover three beater here. Uh, he ran cover three in the last play, and now he's in Mike Blitz instead of that uh, that cloud zone. 
So let's just see if we're able to get it here, and uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it. See if it <laughs> uh, he had him manned up, so that was a bad read by me. Uh, I thought maybe I could squeeze it in, but it, it wasn't a good decision. Um, is what it is. He had my uh, Randy Moss, my receiver that I was eyeing up on the cover three beater, manned up. So he switched defenses there. Good play by him. Just poor read by me. I need to be more patient, potentially just take a sack there. It's, that's a bad decision. So, all right, I've let him back in the game here, minute 20 in the first half still. And now if he goes down and gets points, he gets seven, he's gonna get the ball to start the second half as well. So that's that's really hurting. Um, this time I did drop a vert hook on the field. I thought maybe he'd put a curl flat over in the <laughs> He throws me another pick. All right, so Derwin getting back in the action here. This time we're going to do a little bit of a hesitation, a little stop and go, and Derwin's able to take this back for six points. So we are able to get another touchdown on the board here, and that might be it for our opponent. Let's see if that ends the game. Uh, but really, really good defense there. Again, we, we gave up no points in that game, so really, really great. But... That's the video, guys. It looks like that's going to be it. Uh, what are my thoughts on Randall Cunningham? I like him. I, I think I think he's definitely one of the best quarterbacks in the game. Is he worth the price that he's going for right now? Because right now he's going for about a million coins. I would say probably not. Uh, just because the speed is there, great. Uh, the abilities are there. But I think we're going to see, especially with the series drop, the new series is dropping um, on Friday. So, you know, six days from today or five days from today. And I think that's going to lower a lot of prices. So if you guys are new to the channel, though, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. But like always, till next time, win Madden.